I'm here at the corner of Wellington and Parkdale where there's just been a fire here in the early afternoon on the seventh floor at the back of this building behind me. Residents have all had to evacuate the building. They're still waiting on word from firefighters on when they're going to be allowed back in. A lot of the residents shaken up here today. We spoke to one woman who's actually friends with the tenants of the apartments where the fire occurred and she told us about these scary experiences that happened today. She was in my apartment and she went upstairs to get her purse and she says when she walked in her bedroom was on fire and she thought of the animals so she went in and then we, she didn't come back right away and Melissa saw the smoke coming out of her apartment so we knew her apartment was on fire so my other neighbor ran upstairs to see if she was okay and when she got there she was all black and she had passed out I guess and she managed to save the dog but the cat died. Uh, I know that uh, Sylvie's okay, she's gone to the hospital now. Do you know, was anybody else injured? Uh, no, the other guy that was in the apartment, he seemed fine, I saw him after. He was standing out front and uh, he went to the hospital also, but he seemed okay. Do you live in this apartment? Yes, I live on the fourth floor. Okay, so they evacuated everybody in the building? Yeah, they told, yeah, they told everybody to get out because the, the, there was lots of smoke. My granddaughter was there and while we were watching the fire from my other neighbors, we could see that she lives in the back and the windows exploded out of the apartment and all the glass fell to the underground parking. It was pretty, my granddaughter was freaking out. Yeah, it was kind of, yeah, it was scary. Other tenants tell us that fire alarms here are a pretty regular occurrence in the building. So they didn't really know it was a real fire until they saw the firefighters outside with the hose and they saw the smoke coming from the back of the building. The alarm goes off here, I'd say once a week and they test it quite often usually on Thursdays, and I thought, oh, it's Thursday, it's just, you know, the usual. And the trucks often come, yeah, but they never get out the hoses and start running. That's when I was like, wow, that's, there's an actual fire. 